We just woke up. We are having a really quick uh, breakfast. And uh, in a few minutes, we're going to take the road in the direction of the Trion Trek. Here in uh, MacLeod Gange, it's the famous trek, kind of easy, nothing crazy. It's like three, four hours. You can do it without guides, so mm -hmm. it's kind of cool. It's cool. And if you want, you can sleep on the camp who is just uh, there. So we don't know if we're going to sleep there tonight. We have no idea. We we'll go there, we will see that. Or maybe we'll come, uh, come to the guest house. Yeah. So you are going to follow us during this day uh, up there. It's going to be a different kind of uh, vlog than usually. Yeah. So we hope you're going to enjoy it and stay with us. Yeah. Brilliant. Exactly. See you there. Where to start, and he told us that we have to take a road to Dermakot. It's going to take us 20 minutes. Yeah, it's the beginning of the trek there, it's a little village. The problem is that we have to take a road where is the cars and motorbikes everywhere, so maybe we should have taken a tuk tuk yeah. until Dalmakot. Dalmakot? Dalmakot. Dalmakot. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it's still beautiful. It's okay, it's not that far. Yeah, that's really cool! Nice! That's really not the things you need when you are walking in the mountain. And we meet first locals and it's monkeys. A little friendly. So apparently we are only at 100 meters from Dharam Kot. Not even five minutes later, we finally reached Dharamkot, the startup point of the Trillion Trek. We buy a few biscuits and a few bottles of water and here we are, ready to hide this mountain. Okay, so now that's the beginning of the trek. So we will be there in like three hours or four hours, all depends how we are walking. We are fast, so I think in two hours we are there. Anyway, you can see all of these donkeys. I'm sorry. You are going to think that I'm stupid, but I don't really know if it's do donkeys or horses or pony. I think it's, it's donkeys. Let's see. It's, it's, hello, sir. It's horse and donkey? Yeah, mule. A mule. So it's been now uh, maybe half an hour that we're hiking in the middle of the woods. It's really beautiful. No more cars, no more road. Mm, it's perfect. Scary. We met a, a local girl who told us that uh, in Triyund, especially in the weekend, it can be really uh, full of uh, Indian people who come here, uh, you know, to party and uh, be drunk and stuff. Sometimes it's cool, but we have no idea how it's going to be. So she also said that there is a place one kilometer higher after called what it called? Snow line, snow lake. Snow, snow line, yeah, I think. Yes, yeah, I like that. And it's really calmer. So I think we're going to head to this place directly. And there's also a guest house with a beautiful view on the trion. So maybe it's going to be very nice. Yeah, yeah, even better. Even closer from the mountain. Yeah, but first we have to make it to the trion. <laughs> it's very hard. Yeah. It's been a while that we didn't do uh, any sport. Yeah, it, last time when we did it, it was in Sri Lanka. And it, it, For the Adams Peak. Yeah, but even in Ella we did like a little hike. Yeah. And this time it looks a little bit like Ella in Sri Lanka. Yeah, it's true. It's like in the mountains, it's quiet. Lots of guest houses, a lot of tourists. <sighs> but better than Ella, definitely. <laughs> So high. I don't know if I 
never make it. Of course you will. I guess I will. So we just made it to the crossroad. There's three roads and we have like zero idea which one is the good one. Right? One. Left? Or Front. there? In the map? I don't know. It's not working. I would say this way. I would say this one. Really? I don't know. I don't know. That's going down. That's going up. Makes sense. Maybe. You think we're going to make it? So I think we are in the last little village before the real trek. It's the last place where the cars can come here. We are literally going into the clouds. <laughs> Soon. So we just had to show our uh, passport. It's like a little checkpoint before the real beginning of the trek and there is so many people like so much we didn't thought it's going to be like this like really full we're on the weekend but wow hope it's going to be quiet a bit christina hate me a little bit because all the time we do a trek like that i make her run a little bit just a bit because we just want to cross the big group of people you know us since already a few videos I think you understood that we love to be alone, even for treks. I mean, you are in a mountain, all you want is to be alone. And you know, don't hear anything else. I can hardly take my breath because he's rushing me. Yeah, but look, Christina, now we are alone. Yeah. I don't know for and long. You but know what's cool? You may not see it. But we are totally in the clouds. Yeah. We can see nothing out from the mountain. It's just around us, it's okay. Hopefully, at least you can see something. Yeah, it's nice, but I hope we are going to be able to uh, have a better view after. Even if there is a lot of people walking in the clouds, it's wow. Really good experience. You see them moving just over us. It's nuts. When I check the map, how to reach the Trion, normally we should see some waterfalls. But I already see one and it's Roma and he's sweat on his face. Oh my god, so much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and we did only like one hour. Yeah. We still have three kilometers in front of us. It's going to take us 1.30, one hour 30 I think. It's funny because we are so much in the clouds that we barely see the people at 50 meters from us. I'm not tired. Oh. Oh, I never saw that. 10 minutes ago there is a, a guy who told us that uh, the tree on the camp where we are heading was at 1 hour 30 still and now we just met somebody who said that it was only 40 minutes so we are a bit confused we don't I, know I hope it's 40 minutes yeah me too we just took a little break we clean our face with the cold water it was full of salt and we are still in the clouds a lot <laughs> We are almost there. It's only 15 minutes this way. I hope it's true because I'm so done. We just arrived on the top, so I guess here is the Tryon camp. There is already a lot of people, a lot of camp just here. It's really full and I think it's going to get worse during the day because I think it's like only 1.30 right now, 2 max, not even that. We can hear people screaming, I think it's going to be really, really messy. And I don't think we really want that tonight. We just took a little break. Over there, you probably cannot see anything. 
because oh. it's totally cloudy right now. Still. And what we are doing next, Laurent? Uh, yeah, so like I said before, we arrived and it's like way too full of people, like a lot. And we met a girl before who said that if we head to Snow Line, it can be really better and less people. So we still don't know if we are going to sleep there. Anyway, we have one hour in front of us to go there, so it's cool. Yeah. First person we crossed since a while now. Hello, sir. We are, we are still far? Yeah. Far? Five minutes, ten minutes? In the right. Ah, no, we don't know. Okay. Thank you, sir. <laughs> the sun is finally with us. Well, in the shadow right now, but he's with us. And I'm sure, I'm pretty sure that snow line is going to be so impressive. We just crossed a little, uh, a little temple. It's so small. I think there is nobody here. In 10 minutes, we're going to make it to the shown line. And I hope so, because we are freaking exhausted. Right? Yeah, totally. I'm kind of uh, happy because just before Christina was feeling uh, a kind of scared and I had the impression that I forced her to come here because she was tired and it's true I forced her just a little bit she was not totally done I knew she could do it it was only one hour and a half more we did it and now she's like so excited she loved it so much so I'm happy that I forced her a little bit this for I don't know maybe five hours it was definitely worth it because the view it's like I have never saw that in my life it's so impressive I know there is a lot of crowds but sometimes you can see stuff and the moon then is like enormous yeah and it's just in front of us like we're just here and I remember if you watched from our hotel room it's like so far but we are just here yeah and the clouds are kind of getting away yeah. And it was totally worth it to come at the second camp, snow line, because there is like two tents and it's quiet, there is absolutely nobody here. And there's cows, the grass is like so beautiful and green. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> you want to know how the food and the water and all the stuff arrive at this kind of altitude? Look just here. It's going to destroy the tent. <laughs> we thought that the Jasamer and Kamer ride and the sleeping in the desert was the best experience. But when we came here, I think this is the best experience. Because you can you can do anything. You are here totally alone. You came by yourself. You can just watch the nature and everything is like so green and so beautiful. This is the best. And we are waiting for our dinner. Mm -hmm. It's going to be dal and rice. And we're probably going to take some chai because it's cold. It's really cold. Like the f the sun is up here. It's really cold. And you know we don't really have equipment for this kind of stuff, so we have only a sweatshirt. We have nothing. Yeah. They give us a sleeping bag. So I'm just trying to shake it a little bit, just in case there's something weird inside. But it's Pretty heavy. <laughs> I think it's funny. 
sorry guys if we are not filming the dinner but you know they are inviting us there I don't know if you see maybe not but it's like uh, their little uh, house made from rocks and wood and they invite us to eat inside but like except the little fire and one little light there is nothing else so i think i don't want to annoy them with that because look huh, even you it's annoying you right now yeah. so i don't want to put that in their face but right now it's not possible to film the dinner inside but i'm sure it's going to be good <laughs> okay good night my friend i don't know if you can see well but i use my light and i put it on the mountain in front of us and there is a guy who answered to us i hope he's going to do it again look I have my light. I'm doing it to them. See the answer. Can you imagine there's people that high? Oh, it's nuts. Wow. Thank you, sir. I'm toast. Thank you. Toast. We just woke up, we saw a bit of uh, sunrise, it was really short. It's too cloudy right now. Yeah, like two minutes after it was too cloudy, so we don't see anything anymore. And we are going to eat a little breakfast. Easy. Eggs and toast. Mm. And then after, we will take the road to go back to MacLeod. Have you taken a nap? No, I don't think so. No nap. <laughs> Of course, we said no nap. So, uh, how long are you staying here? Four years, sir. Four years. Four years? Yes. And how many times you go back to the... Mm, 20 and 25 days I go down. Down? Yes. So you stay here like one month? One month, yes. To, and, and after you go? Uh, to, oh, in, in the winter? Winter I go down. Down? So, uh, yes. It's closed? Closed, yes, yes. Any of the shop are open? Op no, I know so, so open here. Okay. Okay. But th there is some, uh, some hiker? In the uh, winter? Winter, yeah, summer, but ah, some? uh, well, everything really is strong and yes, stuff. Yes, 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 okay, yes, okay. yes, okay. And you, you love it? You prefer it to be here? Yes. Or you prefer to be in the mm. in the town? No, yes. You prefer town or here? I'm down, down. Town? Down. Uh, okay. Mm. So it's not too long for you to so be here? It's not too long to stay here? Too long. For you? Mm. Like you are alone sometimes or you are always with? No, no, alone, uh, alone, alone, alone. Uh -huh. sometimes, sometimes. You are uh, never scared? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Well, it was really cool to sleep yeah. here anyway. Uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Bye, sir. Uh -huh. Bye. It was from far the best place and the quietest place we ever slept. And the guy is so nice. Yeah, yeah, really He provides cool. really good food. Everything was so nice. Really friendly. <laughs> really enjoyed here. Oh, anyway, like we said before, we have to go back to the town. So we hope that you enjoyed this video and this little Himalaya night with us. And see you in the next adventure. Bye. Bye.